Hey guys. Okay, as I said, I was going to do my attack on the theme of the month on the 15th. So, here I am. And this month's topic is bullying. Um, yeah. I had quite, I don't know what how to say, I had quite a rough childhood and I basically I kept everything bottled up I didn't tell anybody I didn't let anybody know um, but I was bullied most of my days um, at the beginning it was okay because we were only like 10 kids in the first school I went to and everybody was friends because we all lived in a small area and everybody was friends. Then we moved to um, a place called Svalbard which had like a thousand students from first grade all the way up to high school um, and that was hard. Um, I had quite the horrible experience there with a high schooler because he had brought a knife to school and he just pulled me aside and he was threatening me with the knife. Um, I to this day do not know if this knife was real or if it was a fake and that was really a horrible horrible experience. I haven't told anybody about it. I didn't tell my teacher. I didn't tell anybody. Um, so yeah and then we moved back home but the school that I used to go to was shut down because the student number um, fell below 10. So I was moved to a bigger school and it was horrible. I had three people or three guys in my class that was just horrible to me. Um, and I had one friend from the old school uh, we still lived not far apart and we just picked it up but as soon as I started school it was like I wasn't good enough for her um, I was only good enough for her when she didn't have her other friends so I kind of felt used um, and abused by her and by these three guys moving on to high school Oh yeah, that was a fun time, not. Um, me and my family was never rich, so my, much of my clothes was hand-me-downs from my cousins. And I was, there was always at least one, two, three outfits or, or uh, pieces that would really, really just stand out to me that I would love so so much and I used to wear them so much I had my mum wash them just so I could wear them again and I was bullied for it I got sent notes with drawings of myself with like stinky and everything like that around me and poos on the ground and just the, like um, scribbling so it looked like I was smelly and everything like that and it was just horrible. It was just horrible. I had, I would say I had two friends. Two friends from I started fifth grade until I finished high school. And um, my mum never knew how things were for me. And we were in the addict like um, before baby girl was born. And we found one of my old school diaries um, like where your friends can write to you and stuff and guess how many had written two people and my mum was like didn't you use this didn't you have people writing it yes I did mum that was the only two that wanted to and my mum actually burst out in tears she was so sad um, so yeah um, bullying can ruin a person. I still to this day struggle with the way I look and it is only because of what was said to me, what was done to me. 
because I was never ever good enough. I was always not even second best, I was third, maybe fourth. And I picked that with me throughout life and it really ruined my childhood, it ruined me. Um, and I just wanted to tell everybody out there, bullying is not right. It is not. It ruins a person for life. It makes you feel horrible. It's not. Maybe you feel good when you are above somebody else bullying them, but what the heck? Grow up. As soon as you grow up, you'll realize, oh my god, what did I do? What did I do to this poor person? So, I say everybody needs to take a stand against bullying. Everybody. We need to talk to our kids, we need to educate our kids to not bully. If you see anybody bullying anybody else, find a grown-up. Find a grown-up, a teacher, anybody. Let them know what's happening and they will deal with it. I talk to my son so much about bullying, telling him what to do, if he sees it, what not to do. I have a helper of a son. He kind of can't leave things alone. Um, he was in one fight in his old school because he went between a second grade and a fourth grader. No, a second and a third grader. He was in fourth. And he went between them because the third grader was beating on the second grader. And my son went between to stop it and the third grader turned on my son and just went at it. And the principal actually jumped out of his window in his socks to stop the fight. Because my son just wanted to stop it because he didn't like seeing anybody else getting hurt. And we need to educate our kids to say that bullying is not okay. If everybody does that, if everybody tells their kids stop bullying, it will stop, it will vanish because yeah bullying just ruins it ruins everything it makes kids not want to go to school it makes grades drop it makes you feel horrible both the bullier and the bullied so um that's basically all i have to say about that i would love for you guys to write your stories down below and tell me what you think about doing this. I know I haven't done much on the topic this month because I basically hit hello and it's been hard to keep up with the filming and everything but I'm trying really hard and I really hope you would maybe contribute to my theme of the month. Maybe write your stories, maybe tell me what you think I could do as to the team uh, team theme sorry guys um so yeah um please give me a thumbs up if you like this and i love you guys so much bye see you soon